The Gali Sisters Go West by Betsy Byers. The Gali Sisters sat in their wagon. They were going west. Go, May May said to the horse. The horse did not go. This makes me mad, May May said. Our wagon is ready. Our songs and dances are ready. And the horse will not go. It makes me mad too, said Rose. Something is wrong with this horse. Rose got down from the wagon. May May got down too. They walked around the horse. Do you see anything wrong? May May asked. No, but something is wrong, said Rose. When we say go, the horse does not go. And if the horse does not go, we do not go, said May May. Suddenly Rose said, Sister, I just remembered something. There is a horse word for go. A horse word, said May May. What is it? Giddy up, Rose said. The horse went. Stop, stop, cried May May. Is there a horse word for stop? Whoa, said Rose. Whoa, cried May May. The horse stopped. <sighs> the sisters got into the wagon. Rose took the reins. Giddy up, horse, she said. The horse went. May May said, Now that we know the right words, we can go west. Yes, said Rose. We are on the way. The Golly Sisters give a show. It was the Golly Sisters' first show. They peeped around the curtain. Men and women were there. Children were there. Even dogs were there. Oh, am I ready, said May May. You open the curtain, and I will go first. Look at them peeping out of the curtain. I want to go first, said Rose. You got to wear the blue dress, so I get to go first, said May May. I got to wear the blue dress because you look funny in blue, said Rose. Who says I look funny in blue, asked May May. Everybody, said Rose. Give me the name of one person who says I look funny in blue. Everybody, said Rose. I knew it, said May May. You cannot think of one person. I can, cannot, can, then who? Hmm, let me think, said Rose. See, there is not one person. Admit it, admit it, admit it, cried May May. All right, I admit it, said Rose. We will both go first. We will sing and dance together. Rose pulled the curtain. Oh dear, May May said. Everyone got tired and went home. Are you going to cry, Rose? <laughs> no, said Rose. Everybody did not go home. The dogs are still here. Sister, do we give shows for dogs? I do, said Rose. Then I do too, said May May. So May May and Rose gave a show for the dogs. This is wonderful, May May said. It sure is, sang Rose. The Golly Sisters get lost. We are lost, May May said. I was afraid of that, said Rose. Are you worried, May May? No, I know what to do when I am lost. What you do? What? asked Rose. First, said May May, get in the back of the wagon. Second, make a cup of tea. Third, wait, May May, let me stop the horse. I cannot make tea when he is moving. No, said May May, do not stop the horse. That is the third thing. Is there a fourth thing, asked Rose? Yes, said May May. Sing! You start, Rose. 
Okay, said Rose. I will sing the Lost Gollies. It is about us. Rose sang. The Gollies ride over the ocean. Now it is my turn, said Maymay. I will sing the Brave Gollies. At the land of the sea and the home of the brave. It is about us too. While Maymay sang, the wagon kept moving. Then Rose sang again. Then Maymay sang. Then they sang together. I wonder if we are still lost, asked Maymay. I will check. Just then, they heard clapping. They looked out of the wagon. They were in the middle of a town. Men and women were there. Children and dogs were there. We gave a show, Maymay said. A wonderful show, said Rose. We should get lost more often. The Golly sisters bowed. Thank you, thank you, they said. The horse gives a show. I want the horse to dance in the show, said Maymay. No, Maymay, said Rose. The horse cannot dance. Give him a chance, Rose. Remember when we started? No one thought we could dance. No one thought we could sing. Maymay, the horse cannot dance. Trust me, Rose. You say, here's my sister Maymay and her dancing horse. And the horse and I will do the rest. <sighs> that night, Maymay got on the horse. We are ready, she called. Rose said to the people, Here is my sister, Maymay, and her dancing horse. Let's go, horse, Maymay said. The horse did not move. Here is my sister, Maymay, and her dancing horse, Rose said again. Come on, horse, said Maymay. The horse did not move. Rose said, While we are waiting for Maymay and her dancing horse, I will sing a song. When Maymay heard that, she said, Giddy up! The horse moved. He jumped onto the stage. He jumped off the stage. Maymay screamed, Eee! The horse ran to the town. The horse ran out of the town. Well, that is too bad, Rose said. There will be no dancing horse. No Maymay either. But do not worry. I will do her songs and dances. Later that night, Maymay came back. She fell into her bed. Sister, you were right, she said. The horse... Cannot dance. Maymay loses her hat. Maymay, are you ready? asked Rose. No, I am not, said Maymay. My song is My Pretty Red Hat, and I cannot find my red hat. Want me to go first? asked Rose. All right, but this makes me mad. It was my turn to go first. While Rose was singing, Maymay looked for her hat. When Rose came off the stage, Maymay was still looking for her hat. I want my hat, she yelled. Did you look under my bed, asked Rose. Why would my hat be under your bed, Maymay asked. She looked under Rose's bed. There was the hat. Now I am really mad, said Maymay. You hid my hat. No harm has been done, Maymay. You can sing now, said Rose. I wanted to sing first, 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 yelled Maymay. Stop, cried Rose. You are squishing my hat, my hair. Maymay, stop. Schloink. Maymay stopped and looked at her hat. Rose, she said, first I could not sing because I could not find my hat. Now I cannot sing because my squashed my hat. My hair too, said Rose. Rose said Maymay, tell the people I will do a sad dance. The dance. Of the squashed hat. <sighs> da dum da dum da dum. People said, "Rose, here's Maymay and the dance of the squashed hat." Maymay danced. The people began to clap. Maymay turned to her sister. "I forgive you, Rose," she said. "I forgive you too," said Rose. The Golly sisters are scared. It was a dark night. There was no moon. I hear something, Maymay said. Something is outside our wagon. What will we do, asked Rose. 
One of us will have to go outside, said Mimi. I heard the noise, so you go. Why should I go? It's your noise, said Rose. Do I have to do everything? Asked Mimi. I am not going to go, said Rose. Then I am not going to go either, said Mimi. Yeah. Yeah, yourself, said Rose. Mei Mei sat up. Remember our first show, Rose? Remember how we fussed because you said I looked funny in blue? Yes, I remember, said Rose. I remember we fussed so long that everyone went home. Maybe we have done it again, Mei Mei said. I do not hear anything now, do you? I do not hear a thing, said Rose. Mei Mei said, Rose, we must never fuss again unless... Unless we hear something outside our wagon, Rose said. Rose, that is what I was going to say. You will not. You did not let me finish. Why did you say, May May? What? Good night. Good night, Rose. And the moon came out, and the stars shone, and the golly sisters fell asleep. Good night, Nam. Good night, Lily. I love you.